We know people fly those cool and fast FPV drones that are hard to pilot, and I am a big fan of them myself. But how can we at least get an immersive FPV gobble experience with basic camera drones like the DJI Mini 2? This is what I'm going to show in this video, so stick around till the end. So we know that standard 5.8 GHz FPV gobbles don't work with normal drones. The only way to actually see what the drone sees in a pair of gobbles is to have the screen, in this case, the phone, inside a pair of gobbles. But the problem is that most VR gobbles you can buy online have binocular vision, which means they have two round lenses inside, and for that, you need an app that splits the screen view in two. While there are apps out there like LitchEye that can split the screen, it only works with some specific DJI drones and not the DJI Mini 2 in this case. You also need to buy the app as well as the gobbles, and it doesn't work with any other drone. One simple solution to this problem is to have the other kind of VR gobbles, ones with one big lens so you can see the entire screen. This way the resolution won't be downgraded. The goggles I have here today are called Drone Mask, and they are quite well suited especially for drone use. The process is quite simple. You connect the controller to the foam of the longer cable, you put the foam in the goggles, you adjust the focus, and voila. Let's dive a bit into some characteristics of the Drone Mask first, and then we'll take it for a ride to see how it works. It doesn't come with much in the box besides a bag and the manual. This thing seems to be designed in Finland. These are the goggles, and they feel more premium than other cheap plastic ones, because the exterior is made of a rugged textile material that doesn't keep the heat in as much. They have a sort of hole in the front, maybe for cooling, or foam camera use. The padding is quite comfortable, and felt pretty good sitting on my face just like my girlfriend. The only drawback is that this type of goggles are quite big, and the center of gravity is in front, so you'll feel the weight on your face a bit. The strap is completely adjustable and pretty secure. The front compartment is open by a zipper and it's quite easy to access it inside. You can actually see that the lens is quite good quality and the image is pretty sharp. This is probably the most important differentiation compared to other types of VR goggles out there. The socket for the phone to fit in seems frail, but it's actually quite solid, and I didn't have issues with it so far. It is a bit more difficult to fit phones with cases like mine, but it's achievable. The distance to the screen can also be adjusted too, although I must admit it's a bit difficult. To connect the goggles to the DJI Mini 2. For example, you need first to have a longer USB-C to USB-C cable, or whatever kind of phone you have. I recommend at least a 1 meter cable for the proper length. You then connect it to the phone. Close the zip tie until only the cable sticks out and the setup is ready to go. Of course, I would first recommend connecting to the drone itself so you don't have to fiddle around with the screen. You can see how clear the image is in there. It feels like you're at the cinema. This reminds me that you can indeed watch any movie or YouTube videos in this mode, and it completely changes the experience. You can wear the goggles with glasses as well, but I don't wear any, although some sunshade would be nice. To start, I put the drone down and insert the foam in the goggles. I still have to learn how to do this faster. Then I connected the long cable between the phone and the DJI Mini 2 controller, and closed the phone holder on the controller completely. After the app is all set up, I close the zipper and put the goggles on my head to check how it looks. I definitely look really weird with the goggles on my forehead like that, but a really ugly rhino. In this case, I had to first launch the drone with my line of sight because it's too dangerous to do it otherwise on a balcony. As it flows away to a safer distance, I put on the goggles and fly it in FPV mode. Unfortunately, I can't show you what the image looks like even if I try, but you can see over here that the image is quite crisp even through the camera. It's like piloting a drone in a cinema. It changes the experience of flying drones quite a lot in my opinion, especially on a sunny day like this. At this point, I was discovered by some kids and had to take the drone back, but it's definitely an experience you want to prolong. Now, let's make a bet. If I manage to successfully land the drone, you subscribe, and if I don't, Please unsubscribe and never see me again. Ever. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> yeah, boy.